going? You go ahead. I'm Alex and I play bass. I'm Dan I'm and I play <laughs> drums. I'm Elliot and I play guitar. <laughs> and our band's called Ringo Death Star. Color Trip was like a weird, almost like electronic industrial album where we, there's not really any of the actual drum sounds on the album. It was all, you know, replaced by samples and things like that. There was a lot of samples going on, a lot of computer wizardry and, you know, just layers upon layers of stuff. We kind of took that all away on this record. Uh, it took a couple of months because, uh, you know, we we're like working and stuff the whole time. So some weeks would go by where we could only work on it for like, you know, eight hours that week or whatever. That was such such a good uh, idea to do that because we didn't have to pay every day for studio time. And it, it allowed us to not. You know, not have to request off of work, and you know the whole thing was kind of designed with playing it live in mind. You know, uh, you know, again, like Color Trip was there was no thought put into how are we going to do this live, and we, you know, in, in that era of our band, it was just really stupid. Like seeing us live, we were trying to, we had like backing tracks, and, you know, that kind of shit. I'd play guitar. We had bass on like an iPod, basically. Yeah. <laughs> So, you know, we, we, we got rid of all that a long time ago and decided to like, just make like a, an album that we can play and it translates well. Yeah. We just were doing it because it was fun and we wanted to play the music that we like and for some reason it's 10 years later and we're still doing it. So. Yeah, I'd say fun. <laughs> the fun of, you know, you're up there, you got a guitar, you're making all this noise. And you, you're part of it. You know, how else are you going to be part of it other than to start a band? You, know? you can't just like be paying all this money to watch these. I mean, when, when I started the band, none of the, none of like my bloody Valentine hadn't gotten back together yet. And Jesus and Mary Chain hadn't gotten back together yet. And none of those bands, like they they were all broken up. It's like okay, I got nothing. I want I want to experience this guitar sound in person. So I had to start a band to do it. Yeah. Our, our practice space is in a uh, like a storage area, like a storage unit place, and uh, yeah, somebody was cleaning their uh, like some sort of tank truck, like you know, had tanks of some chemical or whatever. Somebody was pressure washing it that day, and I, I came to record vocals, and I couldn't record vocals because they were literally like 20 feet outside the door. And they were blasting that song through their out of their car. Like they had all the doors open in their car. So I was like, fuck it. Like I put a microphone outside and just recorded the ambient sounds that I was hearing. <laughs> My uncle recorded that of his downstairs neighbor like going crazy one night. <laughs> yeah, was... she was going crazy at him. <laughs> yeah. Well we always stay at his place in San Francisco. And he has this downstairs neighbor who's really sensitive to like any walking sounds. And so of course after a show we like come in and you can hear her like slamming a broom yeah. up on the roof, like the ceiling, and he's like, oh it's just my neighbor. And then one time we went and he was like, you guys are not gonna believe this, my neighbor. We reported her, she went fucking nuts one night. Like apparently they were walking around too much and yeah. started she like just started yell came upstairs and started yelling at my aunt and my uncle. I feel like a lot of bands Elliot was inspired by when recording and producing. Yeah. I was listening to a lot of the Helmets album, Betty. It's like one of my favorite albums. Uh, and I, I really like Andy Wallace, the uh, the producer slash mixer. You know, he mixed Nevermind, he, he mixed Helmets Betty album, he mixed Rage Against the Machine, Evil Empire, uh, Silver Chair Freak Show. Um, you know, that kind of stuff I was listening to a lot. And uh, Sugar, you know, Bob Mould's band after Husker Du, listening to a lot of them. Um, 
you know, just get, getting more punchy drums, that kind of stuff. That was what I was into. Americans are, um, you know, stupid when it comes to music. I mean, look at who's popular. There, there's, there's the, uh, there's the reasoning behind that. Look at who's selling out albums and venues. Yeah, why? Look at the clothes they're wearing. Yeah, they're kind of ugly. Maybe we are too, but our, our wives don't think we're ugly. Let's just put it My wife way. thinks I'm beautiful. I think I think Europeans are a little more. Uh, I don't really know anything about Europeans. Really. Sorry. Touring <laughs> outside of the states is awesome. We seem we seem to do better on the on the coast, like the East Coast and the West Coast, and then like in Chicago, like when we're in the U.S. You know, there's so many places you had to like go to get to those places that. It's a little hit or miss. You know? In Europe, you're you go to France and you're playing on a boat that's floating in the river that's going through town and like you know that kind of stuff. They feed you, they give you hotels, meals, home cooked. Uh, you know, Japan, everyone's like bringing us gifts and printing pictures of us from our Facebook pages and you know getting us to sign them. It's weird. It's pretty surreal. Yeah. Especially when you come back home and have day jobs and you're like, yeah. if only they knew I was a total loser. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, you go to like, where was it? Uh, Toledo, Ohio. Yeah. You got like two people and one of them's on acid and, and, <laughs> and like licking the monitors. That was yeah. actually happened. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me of that. <laughs> she is really cool. <laughs> yeah. I think she's licked my shoe at some point. <laughs> she's probably dead. We're like trying to do something a little, a little different, you know. Explore the weirdness. I, I think. But still retain our essence. <laughs> well, <sorry>. Our essence. <laughs> what? We're what making out a new perfume too. <laughs> Could be the name of the record. Our essence. There you go.